My name is Rapsley, welcome back to Slate Spy Model. We're going to be continuing with Marissa. Start each run damaged, alright then. And both that off at the very start. Uh, enemies in three combats have one HP. Possibility of getting one elite, quite high. Possibility of getting two, none. Uh, random rare card to build around seems like a good idea though. Ooh, okay, hang on. Stardust Reverie, shuffle your hand into your draw pile, then add that many random upgraded cards to your hand. Uh, well, that's the first card that we upgrade, clearly. And still get two rests and three elites? I kind of do want that. Stardust Reverie. Oh, no. Put two random cards into your hand. Put a card from your hand on top of your draw pile. Sure. Put that on top of the draw pile, probably. Right, I'll charge up and then deep ecological bomb and murder. So that was pretty good. <laughs> what a good turn. Um, I, hmm. Do I take anything here? I don't know what my deck archetype is. So, huh. What do I do? Let's just take gravity beat. It's just a good card. Remove a card from the deck. Um, well, if I remove a card here, I can't remove the uh, can't remove a card in the next space. All right, fine. Still do it. I'll still remove a card here, but that now means that I'm not going to this lead. I'm going to this one because I want to dodge that shot. I weaken them both and I prevent two damage from the frontliner and three from the backline. Two, three, five. So it's the same as playing a defend. But the thing is, if I master spark, I'm defending for six. Eh. Still very similar. Mm-hmm. All right. I can't use that as a finisher as reliably as I might have thought I could. So I should probably back off of that a little bit. Um, well, Galactic Halo is just like a nice card again. Upgrade two cards. Ooh, Master Spark got hit. Neat. No need to start a Strawberry though. Lovely. Rosebush down. Attack potion could be incredibly handy for us. Uh, energy flow does mean that we are just much more effective against almost everything. Uh, magic absorber. Remove random debuff from myself. We don't debuff ourselves. I'll take shoot the moon so that if there is a ridiculous buff on this enemy, hmm, like metallicize, uh, I can just remove a random buff from your target if it's not a boss and deal eight damage. I mean, it only has one buff on it. Ooh, but the thing is, if I wait to shoot the moon later, the enemy will be enraged, and I can remove enrage. But also, if I wait that long to do it, I'm just holding off on a turn that I could otherwise have an effective... Uh, could effectively do. Could do something effective in there, rather. Good lord. Uh, oh, this doesn't exhaust? Well, okay. I'll take seven here so that I can hold on to my attack potion. It'll be important later. My gremlin knob. Hello, the boot. Whenever you deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five. Well, now we have a couple of things. We always, like, this is kind of fine right now, but I'm not going to take it. I'm looking for machine gun spark. All right, fine. I'll take energy flow. Just to expedite the kill. Um, I mean, that should do it as well. 
Gain energy whenever the number of cards in your draw pile increases during your turn. Yes, exactly what we need for this deck. Um, that becoming innate, not as important. Stardust Reverie being upgraded, incredibly important. Preserved insects. Enemies elite fights have 25% less HP. I'll also rest here because I actually do want to live. Uh, yeah, I don't want to exhaust Stardust Reverie yet. During my turn, that happened, by the way, so hell yes. Um, I mean, I can remove boss from the enemy. It doesn't matter. The metallicize gets removed as soon as I wake them up, though, so... Ah, uh, but it still deals extra damage, and there's no reason not to do it. Fine. I'm a little concerned that I might want to hold off on... Triggering my charge up here. Just because Master Spark is so good. Uh -huh. 40, and then I'm going to Echo Draft to play Double Defender. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I just have Lethal here, so I'm not going to Stardust Reverie at all. Juice of Bracelet, whenever normal enemy cannons are no longer in cannon, question mark rooms rather. Oort Cloud is so powerful. It's just so damned good. Especially upgraded. Alright. Lactic Halo. Rise. Mm -hmm. Satellite Illusion Stardust Trevor, maybe? Don't make me regret this! There's another satellite illusion, but... Add a random attack into your hand, deal damage equal to damage of the card added. Let's do this with 6A first, just to get myself some block. And then I'll use an attack potion to... I am weakened, so... Alright, I can do this. Just a motor out the back liner for me. Save myself some of that HP. Alright. Uh, gas Giant Mana Convection, second Orth Cloud. <laughs> defend, and then Orth Cloud with its Amplify paid for, so... Hell, I didn't actually need to defend there. Oh my god. Orth Cloud, and it's paid for as well. Oh my god. <laughs> that is to say, the Amplify is paid for. Yeah, we're just gonna casually super defend ourselves forever. With this, like, add a charge up into the build. And we're safe eternally, effectively. While we build up that charge up and then blow up the enemy with basically any attack. Mana Rampage is a good card to get from this. Shuffle five random cards into your draw pile. Each of them has a 30% chance to be upgraded. Yep. <laughs> Energy Flow, exactly the card that I uh, was just talking about earlier, despite the fact that I said it wrong. This is the one I meant. <laughs> that's, a good, uh, that's a good random one to play right there. Put a card from your hand on top of your draw pile. That increases the size of my draw pile. Perfect. Stardust Reverie. We definitely want to do that much. I think we'll stop there. Fine. Uh, so double strike to kill the front line, and I can auth cloud for one less defense. I think I do that. I could have defended for five, but auth cloud for four. But this gives me the ability to later. 
So they to almost fully defend. Okay. So I have my Master Spark for to kill this turn. Uh, Stardust Reverie. Ooh, exhaust half the cards in your discard pile and draw pile. Gain energy and draw a card for every four cards done like that. Yeah, we'll want to do that. Beautiful. Peace Pipe. You can now remove cards from your deck at rest sites as well as another Stardust Reverie. What? This deck is very much trying to be the deck that I'm looking for. I'm extremely appreciative. I'm going to give it the chance to be. So deck manipulation is one of the archetypes for this character I just haven't played yet. Ooh, mana rampage. That could be good. When this card is drawn, gain energy. If it's exhausted, I'm not going to be exhausting it. Deck time. Yeah, let's mana rampage now. And then I'll... I don't want a Witch's Ley Line. All of these burns. There are too many of them right now. Alright. Stardust Reverie. Gets us a bunch of other stuff. Ultimate Shortwave. Ooh, sweet. Pay for itself immediately. Uh, next turn, gain two energy. Amplify. Amplify effects that cost no extra energy this time. Um, I don't want binary stars. I don't think, right? So, Star Barrage. And then I'll Pulse Magic at the end of my turn. Excellent. No damage to me. Alright, fine. I'll start us reverie as well. Polaris Unique. Shovel a Guiding Star into your draw pile. Gain energy at the start of your turn while it's in your draw pile. Does not stack. Uh, uh, each turn, draw two more cards and add a burn to your hand. That is terrifying. Um, you gain seven block. You can't activate amplifier or consume charge up this turn. Draw two cards next turn. That's fine. All right. We're going to be ridiculously drawing this turn. But also, we deal 80 damage with an attack. So, yeah, that's fine. Uh, shovel a copy of this into your draw pile. Shovel your discard pile into your draw pile. Oh, okay. That's really good. That gets us two extra energy right now. It has to be just giant Master Spark there. Although now I have to concern myself with, do I use the Witch's Ley Line? No. Does too little damage to be worth it at that point. Choose to add and either... Sorry, uh, choose to add and either... Sorry, add and upgrade either Black Flare or White Dwarf. I really wish that I could know what those are without having to play it. Okay. When I play Pulse Magic, then Binary Star... Black Flyer, uh, discard any number of cards from your hand and gain five block for each, and then the White Dwarf is can only be played uh, if there's four or less cards in your hand. And then it's the size of your discard pile. Any number of cards and then discard pile. Okay, so... Discard everything except for Galactic Halo, play Galactic Halo, and then White Dwarf for 64 damage. Pretty good. Hopefully my deck is not all burns, though. I was saying the burns. Um. We need a Polaris in this deck, by the way. We desperately do. It works so well with the other card. One sec, while I work out exactly what I'm trying to do here. Works so well with Satellite Illusion. Uh, none of these are that great. 
I guess like the best is ultimate shortwave, but even then I don't really want it right now. Like our problem is our setup already and this is already just long setup. Okay, drawing, a le drawing one fuel cards each turn, but playing two cards to draw a card is pretty ridiculous. Unfortunately, it means like our, like our Stardust Reverie is really bad unless we play a bunch of cards before it. I could just remove like a strike and a defend, making the deck more consistent. Kind of wanted extra energy after that, but... Mm, I'll settle for just Lantern, extra energy on turn one, and then I upgrade Satellite Illusion to become a Nate, and from then on, we're fine. Yeah, we need as many upgrades as we possibly can get this floor, so we'll take this path. It unfortunately is a path that has exactly one elite on it. There's a path with three elites that also has two... Uh, okay, we'll go... Damn it. I got roped in. It's important to take damage that turn just to have the enemy weaken to this turn. They're too damn impactful. <laughs> Shoot the moon. Uh, yeah, I think we actually do as well. Galactic Halo. I guess we illusion stars, just in case. Not relevant. Shoot that moon! So it's just when you remove their plated army. Interesting. Um, all right. I'll satellite illusion, Stardust Reverie. Finding Casket of Star. Ooh, nice. Uh, I guess I play it because I have no defense in that hand. I need to have more cards in hand when I start us Reverie. It's just difficult to get more cards in my hand. Oh, should have played the Rising Sweep there as well. Sorry, I was stuck in between whether or not I play attacks. Excellent. And hell, we'll just throw another six in for good measure. Nope. Even the upgraded Witch of Greed? No, because it's two extra energy. The energy is already our problem. In our setup, particularly. I'm not going to buy potions there. I have a shop in the next space. That's really good. Lee's Waffle. Um, upon pickup, raise your max HP by seven and heal all of your HP. Uh, Deep Breath also puts cards into our draw piles. That's also good for us. We probably want Deep Breath, Lee's Waffle. And just card removal on normal spark. Deck is still definitely lacking good damage. Wee bit of a concern of mine. Oh well. Uh, double start has reverie right now. Shoot the moon will remove both of your buffs. Yep. <laughs> uh, get dunked on, Guardian. Oh my gosh. Perfect. No barricade for you. Second, Galactic Halo is too expensive to add now. I play the gravity beat here just to weaken the enemy for the next turn. Yeah. Didn't even matter. Put the machine gun spark up there considering I can't use it. Um, Infernal Breeze is really important though. Fine. And then I get to play Infernal Brick. And now... Oh, wait, I don't have boot. Damn it. And I'm weakened. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, uh, this machine gun spark could have been incredible, but it's garbage instead. It's not garbage. It's not, it's not great. Unfortunately, weakened. Not weakened. That wasn't the weakening attack? Great. 
just do that then. Um, also throw in a Stardust Reverie there. Seems it might work. Nope. And suddenly now we're terrified. All right. I'm going to play Stardust Reverie right now. Polaris Unique is a great pickup there for us. One time off is fine as well. So Spore Crump. One time off. Can't uh, activate Amplify effects. Yup. Forgot about that. I'm going to poison the front line. It's just so it's dead next turn. I do have uh, Gravity Beat in the deck, but... <laughs> Can't rely on drawing it this turn, and good thing I didn't rely on drawing it this turn, because I didn't draw it this turn. Oh, that could consume charge up for us. Hmm. Oh, it's like that, though. Um, sprinkle and a Dark Matter gets us... Hey, charge up, Trey. Um, gain energy and draw two cards if it kills... Or draw three cards, exhaust two. And draw three to ex uh, exhaust two. Let's exhaust a dark matter and a simple spark. Exhaust your hand at the end of your turn. Um, no, we'll burn the supernova. Okay. Good odd cloud. I mean, I can just straight up remove this last right now. Sure. Sure. Satellite Illusion, and then I play Dark Matter, which gives me an extra energy, and then I play Guiding Star, which gives me an extra energy, and then I play Illusion. Extra energy and then deep breath. Oh, look at all this extra energy. It's ridiculous. Um, the deal as much damage as I possibly can this turn. And remove their buffs. Should have done that in the opposite order. I think I could have prevented them from summoning anything there. But also, I suspect uh, we're probably going to kill this turn. Called it a hunch. That is immediately fulfilled. Regal Pillow, whenever you rest, heal an additional 15 HP, as well as another Illusion Star, sure. I do want these no longer to exhaust. But also, Satellite Illusion is too important now. It is so much of my deck that to have it not in my opening hand is, frankly, disrespectful. Ooh, Event Horizon. Two times each. Uh, well, we're not going to activate Amplify FX. X plus one. So if I cast this, I get two burns in my hand, and then I have Event Horizon, then X plus one, I have one left. I mean, sure, I do that. Wait, we do have the... Uh, it's not like I've turned down a machine gun spark yet. Absolute magnitude. Yeah, 48. It's pretty good. Um, let's remove a debuff from ourselves. There we go. Pretty good. Pretty damn good overall. Take my strength potion. Uh, <laughs> none of that. Thank you for the offer, though. Matroshka, the next two non-boss chests you open contain two relics. We'll also smith again. Both of these Oath Clouds need to be upgraded soon. Defense is one of our biggest problems. But the thing is, we also find it difficult to play the Oath Clouds. Mm 
-hmm. Part of me thinks that what you have to do with Stardust Reverie is just keep playing them until you get a ridiculous result. But that's also not working well for me right now. Um, all right, let's open Universe. Ooh, Final Spark. Mysterious beam here as well. Sure. Oh, spark. Oh, interesting. Um, Stardust Reverie again. We get binary stars. If a charge up to consume, deal 11 damage to all enemies. I mean, that's pretty good here. Kills them all. Well, not all of them. Some of them. All right. But only played when you have four more. Discarded your number. I can do that right now. Add two bones to your hand. Twenty and then meteoric burns, both of them. Nice. I'm glad it all works out in the end, but it does feel like everything's weird and then suddenly we win, or everything's weird and uh, suddenly we lose. But I haven't experienced that part yet, thankfully. Uh, apparitions are really good. Apparitions will let me do this. It's just I need extra energy now, desperately. Bites. No. No, no, no. Ooh, I suspect without Apparition, we actually would not be able to win this fight. <laughs> Can you not give me every Meteonic Shower you've ever seen? Game? Please? Operations good this turn at least. Energy recoil. One of them on top of the draw pile then. I'm gonna try and set up, I think, one giant hit that kills the enemy here. What is it even going to be that does it, though, at this rate? Stardust Reverie? It's fine. Meteonic Shower, I think. Two times for each card you exhausted. So the first will be 16, and then I actually get to deal five 16s. Five 16s. It's not lethal, but it's good. And then I can just finish off the rest myself. Great. Kunai, uh, every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one dex. Uh, probably not nice. Milky Way is nice-ish, but not what we're looking for right now. I'm going to upgrade the other Oath Cloud here. It's going to be an interesting fight, I'll say that. Can I not get Order Cloud in the same turn as this? Fine. I, I have to take it for less. Or I don't play it this turn, I just shoot the moon. Get the debuffs. Yeah, fine. Oh, it's a Enemy's a boss. You can't shoot the moon. Ryan. Oh yeah. Damn it. Um right. Lucian stuff, putting a dark matter. The Starlight Typhoon, I think, though, instead. Starlight Reverie. Ooh, Millisecond Pulsars. Oh, Open Universe is also really good. Shuffle five random cards into your draw pile. Each of them have a cent chance to be upgraded. Draw three cards. Big Crunch is going to be hilarious. We've got an Aura Calcum for ourselves. Uh, Alice's Gift seems like it might be what I want to keep with me the entire time, but I should play some attacks this turn at least. Yeah. 
I mean, it deals triple damage at all times. Because Amplify effects cost no, uh, no more extra energy for us. I can naturally pretty easily defend this turn. Okay, so 14, 14 by 3 is lethal. That's a lethal. Get a big crunch then. Exhaust half the cards in your discard pile, draw pile, gain energy, and draw a card for each card exhausted. But I could lose Oath Clouds. And if I lose the Oath Clouds, I'm dead. I'm sorry, if I lose those Oath Clouds, I'm dead. Speaking of, let's put a Dark Matter back into the deck. Ooh, I'll take an Ori Sun, sure. Let's see if I get anything I care about. Oh, I get something I care about, but oh, I don't care about it right now. Damn. All right. There's one apparition left in the deck at this rate. Do I retain Alice's gift? I have to. I'm not going to suddenly rush the enemy down unless I just keep doubling. Okay. Seven blocks, seven blocks. So, uh, at the end of this turn, I get eight, 21, six, 27, 27, eight, 35, 35. Uh, we're dead unless I speed potion. While this card, uh, when this card is exhausted, gain 12 block. They didn't do that. I only survived on 2 HP there. I knew that was going to be the case, that I was only going to survive on 2 HP if I survived at all. Uh, but the Dark Matters, despite the fact that they said whenever this card is, ex uh, when this card is exhausted, gain 6 block. Uh, it's a trigger on Ethereal. But it didn't work with the with the 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 the, the, the speed potion. Got its name for a short period of time there. I think I completely covered. No one noticed, right? Right. Let's put that on top of the deck then. Alice's gift is now getting closer to lethal. I'm gonna get crunchy. All right. One card I can play this turn. Alice's gift is not going to increment. We live, right? Yes. Woo! Okay. Ah. I forgot that it was uh, consumed on eights, not sixes. That is to say, the charge up. Uh, satellite illusion. We can get a bunch of energy with that satellite illusion, but. The problem is always card draw. The problem is always card draw. That is always the problem. Card draw. Uh, it's just, it's, warming up gives us more cards in hand. Right? I play warming up. I deal one damage. I add a rising sweep spark and a witch's ley line to my hand. I play the witch's ley line. I get two burns. And then I... Reverie? This is the first time I played a deck like this. So, you know... Difficult. Uh, warming up at the very least is a trigger of kunai by itself, but that also doesn't matter too much to us. We need more draw. We just need more draw from some source. Oh, there are all these relics here. Um, I do really want those apparitions upgraded for the final uh, fight. 
think I have to take the busted crown. Damn it. Mm, time it could be a problem. Alright. Let's see how well this one goes. Or rather, how well it doesn't. I could just drop two Oort Clouds right now. Doesn't seem like a great idea, though. Oh, that sucks to have to do. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, let's warm up. Let's see what we get from the illusion stuff first, I think. Well, Pulse Magic definitely wants to get played this turn. I should have thrown the, the Galactic Halo back, actually. That's my bad. All right. Yeah, those strike before uh plated armor. Do have to remember that. Do that to yourself again, Ryan. How about that? How about that one? Um, I should have been able to expect that. Um, 999 gold, two normality. Two normality. I mean, I can throw them back into the deck. I don't really draw into them, so it's not that much of a problem. Um, it's a bunch of money. Fine. I also don't want to have to fight here if I can avoid it. Ooh, remove card and upgrade a random card. Nice. Take a Normality out there, and Apparition gets an upgrade. Good. Uh, Master Strategy and Finesse. Both great cards for this character. Oh, thank you very much. We'll take that. Helps with our draw concerns. Speaking of draw concerns, I will put a Master Strategy in the opening hand. Uh, cards with Exhaust when played will discard instead 50% of the time. Uh, that's good for Stardust, Reverie, and Apparition. Remove the other Normality. I mean, I kind of wanted to take potion belts. Should I? I don't know if I'm getting another shop. I'm taking them. Ooh, yeah, good. 64 gold for that mask. Happy to do it. Definitely going to have to rest here. And I've just committed myself to fight two elites. Because, of course, I have. Let's put that on top of the draw pile, I think. Hmm. Okay, I'll start us reverie, getting myself a whole ass new hand. Oh, wild. Ooh. Alright, um. Do I just kill both the daggers? It's 80 damage that I can deal to the Reptomancer this turn if I want to just go straight for them, though. It's risky. I have to kill the summons. Then I can, at the very least, blaze away twice on the main line. Mm-hmm. Apparition is uh, perfect in this position. Thank you. Hell, we'll even start us reverie. Um, and Polaris unique. Just short of being able to play this uh, final spark, unfortunately. Trust you, Mana Rampage. You got this for me. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> sure, again, every time we play three attacks in single turn. Uh, game. 
got one strength. I mean, that does put two burns into my hand. Kind of draw-ish adjacent. Burns do eventually end up being pretty damn good for us. Also, sort of strategy draws extra in the opening hand. Top hat. If your hand is full when drawing a card, draw an extra card next turn instead, as well as the handmade grimoire. The start of the battle for every 15 cards in your master deck, gain an extra energy and draw an extra card. Um, we'll definitely want to pick up four more cards now. And I have only four encounters, so I take the card that is offered after the end of each battle. It'll be worth it, trust me. You gotta trust me. Leyline, then Reverie my whole hands. Alice's Gift, we could try and build that up again. Haven't done that in a while. Hmm. I suspect I don't have that long to wait. It depends. It depends. All right. Ooh, double apparition. Old cloud is really good. Uh, I guess I'll take breath. Sure. If I draw something, I can just play it. <laughs> Two. Another apparition, because I have to do that first. Then I have to start. A I'm getting rid of the Alice's gift if I do this, though. It's fine. It'll eventually be ridiculous anyway. I will play the Galactic Halo, though, because it's exactly what I'm looking for overall. Open Universe. Yes, obviously. Ooh, they were all upgraded this time. Wild. Old Cloud with giant effects. Oh, hell yes. I love that those apparitions keep getting shuffled back into my deck. It's incredibly important to me. Goodbye. Oh, nice try. Uh, all right. How many cards can I play before I <laughs> Alice's gift them? Um, don't want to play the serious beam. Well, I guess I play the mysterious beam or whatever it generates between Alice's gifts. Yeah, we'll do that. 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 And then... Ah. Beautiful. Dreamcatcher, whenever you rescue me, cards of your deck. Illusion Star. Oh my god. Are you actually just going to give me cards that I actually do want? I'm going to rest here with the ability to add a card to my deck. Portable Prop Bag is totally fine for me. Because now I can turn down one of the next two cards. I don't want to have either of those apparitions in my hand, so it's a really good shuffle there. Max power. Convert your charge up stacks into energy. Add one exhaustion to your hand. Your attack damage is doubled until next turn. No. It's not useful. Millisecond pulsars is pretty good, but... Well, cast of star is actually less good. It's millisecond pulsars here, definitely. Okay. Good thing I have those apparitions. In fact, pretty perfect of a turn right there. Kind of want to just Oort Cloud defend uh, Apparition, Apparition. And for that reason, I will. I also should have played the defend there, by the way. I forgot that Oort Cloud was not going to cost an extra energy because I have millisecond pulsars for its, uh, for its amplify effect. That's the mistake I made there. Deal seven damage for each burn. Amplify it, do double damage. I mean, it or. Hmm. Oh, wait, absolute magnitude. Lol. Oh, the enemy's intangible this turn. I didn't think they were intangible this turn. I thought they were intangible last turn. Well, that was obviously awful. What a fool I've made of myself here. Alright. 
Looking for an attack. Uh, hmm. My discard pile isn't large enough to use binary stars, really. I guess I can discard two more cards. Fine, that's a hell of a lot of damage. I'll do it. Ugh. Remove that buff from you, bud. And then gravity beat you down as well. Beautiful. Bag of marbles at the side of each combat. Apply one vulnerable to all enemies. I'll drop a poison potion for the speed potion here. Six, six C's. Not that good for us. I'll turn that one down. That is the one that I get to turn down, and I've already used it. Alright, Stardust Reverie. Gives a whole ass new hand. Oh, another Stardust Reverie there. Neat. Collecting Kirk? Uh, collecting Kirk, yeah. Let's make sure we've got all that Kirk that we ordered. I mean, Stardust Reverie right now is ridiculous as well, but... Ugh. Let's see. Just do one to you, and then... Fine, we'll spark and Stardust Reverie again. Ooh, Machine Gun Spark is good there. And Dark Spark will be lethal. Beautiful. This is... Like, it's adjacent to... Ooh. Offense seems to matter more to me, though. Strength? I don't need strength as much as I just need to live. Uh, I have to take energy flow here, unfortunately. For the sake of the Grimoire giving us the extra card. Speaking of the Grimoire giving us an extra card, the Grimoire just gave us an extra card. Whoo, look at all these illusion stars. Mana Rampage. Oh, yeah, that's real good. Okay. Because I'm getting an extra energy every time I play. Oh, what? I'm getting an extra energy every time I play an Illusion Star right now. This Mana Rampage is going to be insane. <laughs> Mana Rampage for 12 attacks! I am so glad that I have finally gotten that deck off. I have to take Ori's Sun again. Another thing that I didn't really want to do, but I had to take it. Um, Smith. Can't remove a card from the deck. Obviously, he's right. Um, Smith. Let's recharge up. Yeah, let's get the Illusion Stars not to burn themselves. Or burn themselves less often, rather. Alright, pretty happy with all of those buffs. I'll take my Amplification Wand as well. Neat. I hate to miss out on playing the other Oath Cloud here. If I play the other Oath Cloud, I can, but then I miss out on the Apparitions. If I play the Apparitions, they have the chance to... Uh, strange Spoon. If I don't play them, they can't. I'll put one of them on top of the draw pile, gain myself an extra energy, play the Apparition, play the Orc Cloud. I don't want to only be able to play four cards next turn, so I don't deep breath here. Mm. Lowering my card draw is a problem, though. Mm -hmm. Two 
some cards this turn. Oh, neat. Apparition, apparition. Thank you. Totally fine with that one. Ooh. As long as it works in the end. It's definitely Stardust Reverie there. Oh, come on. Yes, fine. We'll start attacking. I kept that machine gun spark in my deck as well. This three damage increases the damage of all spark cards. Tell me, nah, refraction spark is kind of garbage. So it's definitely Halo Horizon Defend. I want to be able to play three cards next turn. to return something to my hand apparently which is sad because it comes back to my hand just to leave but now that final spark is looking mighty much closer to playable in fact it's looking exactly playable yeah I can't do too much this turn unfortunately I can play three attacks and get a dex and a strength but that's not as important as keeping those burns out of my deck at this point I think Apparition's obviously incredible here. So we'll play Apparition and warm up. I'm going to just double dunk with Witch's Ley Lines here. I'll take four damage rather than play another card. <clears throat> it's really important that I keep some amount of cards that I get to play so that I can do that. <laughs> it's nice not to be weakened, finally. 1,162. That deck is... I still don't understand it. I played it for 53 minutes. What? What did what did did what did did, 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 what did it do? It was just a deck that randomly generated a lot of value. It's the dead branch corruption of Marissa right there. I'm very glad that I got to play with that archetype, and now one archetype continues to evade me, and I believe only one, and that is a successful burn deck. For the moment, though, my name has been Rhapsody, the name of the game. This has been Slade the Spy and Modded. Hopefully, you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully, we'll see you next time.